Hey folks, it's Jim uh, doing a video on uh, some stuff I found free on the side of the road. As you already know, the push mower over there that's uh, immaculate. All I had to do was take it apart, tighten it up, and uh, uh, grease it, oil it, and clean it up. And the thing is basically brand new. So obviously it was probably, um, well anyway, a great piece of work. Anyway, this is what I found on the side of the road on my bike ride, my morning bike ride today. I found this free on the side of the road. I needed a table that had all four swivel casters. And there I go, free on the side of the road. Uh, and this is for my bike shop. I can easily pull it around with my tools on it to make life much easier. Uh, when I'm doing things, I have the cart, but I need the carts outside for bigger jobs and things like that. So this would have been $50 at least for this table and uh, free on the side of the road. So I'm absolutely jazzed with it. The next thing is this camp table. Uh, these things go between $80 and $110 to $20. Aluminum, fold out, camp table. I'm six feet tall. I fit at it. And this is for my van build. It folds up to a small suitcase. You can see the suitcase handle on the table there. Which also great is great for uh, uh, holding certain things, I found. Um, and it's got the umbrella hole in the middle and whatnot. And I was absolutely jazzed when I opened it up and sat at it that a six foot tall person could actually sit at this thing comfortably. And boy, isn't this going to be a great find for my uh, van build. Now, I this was not free on the side of the road. It was $10.00 at a yard sale on my way back uh, from town this week. And boy, isn't that a great find. And uh, the last thing I wanted to share was up here, this heater. I've already tested it uh, free on the side of the road. It was the same house that had the, the nice swivel table that I first showed you. I already tested this thing out. It has great ambiance. It's one of those electric uh, heaters. Uh, and I needed another inductive load. That's why I picked this up uh, to test a 10 kilowatt battery system uh, that I'm doing. So I needed a easily portable, uh, nice inductive load that could go between 1 and uh, 1800 watts or 1000 watts and 1800 watts. So I was able to find this and also I might put this in my van builds for some ambiance or uh, because it puts off some great heat. It's actually not that inefficient for an inductive load. I was very surprised. And you can use the flame look without the heat output. So even in the summer, I can use this for some ambiance at very low watt draw. Uh, so that'll be really nice. You know, between the portable camp table and that little uh, electric stove up there, um, these are be two great pieces for my van build, but I want to just share what all I've got here. Okay, here's a $50 table easy, okay? Those casters on the bottom are very expensive. Go price them out. Okay, the camp table, $80 to $120. The, uh, the little inductive heat stove up there with the ambiance flame looks to it. I, I don't even know how much those are, at least $50, but I think they're like $70 at Lowe's and Home Depot. And that's an all metal case, uh, aluminum and whatnot. It has to be aluminum because it's super light. So, you know, that is another $50 to $70. And we've got the push mower over there that we know retails for $140. And why am I going over all this? Because a lot of people are complaining they don't have any money for their preps. Well, folks, I've been able to go out, although I need... I'm keeping all four of these for now. I could easily flip them, couldn't I? To pay for preps, right? I could get $10 to $15 easily for the for the table. Easily with the right guy. I was getting ready to go pay 50 bucks for a small table like this, and I found something even better than I was gonna get. So I would have paid 15 bucks for this easy at a yard sale. That camp table, uh, easily. What do you think, folks? 30 bucks. During camp season right now, $30 to $40 we could easily sell that for. It's impeccable. The people only used it twice. Now, okay, so 
we're talking already right there, we've got between 30 and 50 bucks for our preps, right? Now that inductive heating stove, easily I could put it out for my yard sale for 20 bucks, okay? And get that, because the thing is impeccable. It's brand new. I don't even know that they ever used it. Um, really cool. And I found that on my bike ride along with this uh, rolling table for my bike shop. I found these both on my bike ride. And you also know, you already know about the push mower that retails for 140 at Home Depot. I can easily flip right now for 50 bucks because people are into green, fuel costs are high. And if they've got a small yard and want to get some exercise, I can easily flip that Troy built for $50. So that's why I'm doing this video. I'm jazzed that all this stuff right here cost me $10. I could easily flip all this stuff for over $100. So if you're out there struggling to afford your preps, start hustling. When we sit around and complain about what we don't have, rather than taking advantage of our mind and our ability to scavenge and all that, which are prepper skills, right? Hunting and gathering. Those are our base prepper skills. So we can hunt and gather stuff free on the side of the road this time of year and turn it into money to afford those preps. You may be struggling to do it. You know, I run the bike shop, the lawnmower thing and all of that. And I got to tell you, it, everything pays for itself, you know, on these hobbies. And, and it's a great way for me to feel like I'm repurposing things in life. But more importantly, Here's a way to pay for your preps, okay? And a lot of you are smart and savvy and you hustle. But I'm doing this video because I hear complaint after complaint after complaint that people can't afford things. Folks, get out there, hustle, and you will be able to find plenty of stuff like this that you can flip, okay? Easily, I could get rid of all this stuff easily, okay? And, uh, and it requires no time for me. Everything's in great shape, right? Other than the lawnmower it took me 15 minutes, uh, cause I pretty much could see what was wrong with it immediately. And that was probably the, uh, assembly, whoever assembled it, assembled it wrong. So, um, you know, that's just something I wanted to share. Get out there and hustle. There's so much stuff free on the side of the road, folks. I know it's hard out there. I know we're inflation, but how much money did I just save myself here? All four of these things I needed, okay? The picnic table for my van build, the roller table for my bike shop, which is going to make my life so much easier in my bike shop, you know, around my bike stand. That inductive load that I needed, I needed two inductive loads that I could adjust during my testing phase. That thing is perfect for it. Not only that, it looks fantastic and puts out excellent heat. I am blown away that I got that for free. It almost looks brand new. I don't, I don't know. And the lawnmower. So folks, get out there, hustle. And you're, I'm sure you can find some of the... Most of this stuff I find on my bike rides. My daily exercise bike ride. Almost all of this is free for the taking on the side of the road. And $10 for an $80 to $120 folding picnic table that is so perfect for my van build. I just saved myself a hundred bucks. Okay? My personal self. In this table, I was gonna have to pay 50 bucks. So make it 150 bucks. That lawnmower, I wanted a good one anyway. I think that's one of the best push mowers ever built. And I got that for free on the side of the road. And it only took a little elbow grease on my part. To make it a perfect machine and I've used it twice already I love it okay so get out there hustle you know don't sit around and talk about what you don't have get out there and make it happen change your mind change your life sit in the hole and look at the world as darkness and doom boom and gloom and nothing's going your way and that's always going to be that way get out there make it happen hustle folks you can do it okay I'm not the only one finding these great things. It can be found everywhere, right? So, Jim out.